so there it's picking up well. For more than a decade, Gert Jan Oskam has been trying to relearn to walk. A motorbike accident in his late 20s left him paralyzed from the hips down, changing his life forever. But now, Oskam is back on his feet, thanks to groundbreaking digital implants in his brain and his spine. After two days, within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, hips. It works like this. When Oskam thinks about taking a step, a brain implant picks up the signals and sends them to a computer strapped to his back. The computer decodes it, then transmits the signal to a device in his spinal cord, triggering his legs to move. Scientists say it's like a digital bridge that bypasses the damaged part of his spine. The patient has first to learn how to work with his brain signals, and we also have to learn how to correlate this brain signal to the spinal cord stimulation. Scientists were shocked to find it may have helped close the gap in his nervous system. I'm here. Yeah. In less than a year, Ostom gained the ability to walk with crutches even when the device is turned off. Life-changing abilities he didn't have after a previous experimental implant, which only let him take a few clunky steps. I am in full control of what the stimulation does, and that gives me a lot of freedom, which I didn't have with previous therapy. Researchers say it's an incredible step forward from older technologies that could detect brain signals or stimulate muscle movement, but not both. Putting all those components together in a human with spinal cord injury and having them talk in, in quasi real time, it's a breakthrough, really. It's not a cure. Oscom can still only walk several hundred feet a day and stand without help for a few minutes. But for the first time since his accident 12 years ago, Oskam can do things most of us take for granted, like get out of a car or stand at a local pub. It was uh, a long journey, but uh, at the end, I can really build uh, functional things from it. A long journey now giving hope to other patients still striving to take that first step. So far, Oscom is the only person to experiment with this digital bridge. But Swiss scientists who published the case today in the peer-reviewed journal Nature say they're planning future studies involving people with paralyzed arms and hands and even stroke victims. Tom? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.